Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com with an unboxing plus on feet video of the Mizuno Morelia Pro in the brand new white, navy blue, and orange colorway. So I'll get the shoes out of the box really quickly. Keep in mind that they do not include any extras with the Morelia Pros, so I'll get the box out of the way. And if you guys could take a quick second to leave a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. So here is a look at the Mizuno Morelia Pros. Um, now unfortunately Mizuno is fairly difficult to come by in North America simply because they're only sold in Europe and Asia and pretty, mar pretty much everywhere else in the world except North America. So if you want to order a pair, you're going to have to order from out of the country whether you live in the United States or Canada. Now fortunately for you guys, um, I do have a website linked down below in the description that does sell Mizuno Morelia's internationally for very fair prices. It's the same place where I got mine from and they have very cheap international shipping rates to either Canada or the US. Um, so if you are interested in picking up a pair of Mizuno Morelia Pros for yourself um, at a decent price, be sure to check out those buy it now links down below in the description. Now basically the deal with the Mizuno Morelia Pro is um, is that it's essentially a Japanese version of the Adidas Copa Mundial, which is considered to be one of the all-time classics when it comes to soccer shoes. Very similar styling, full kangaroo leather upper, the big traditional flap tongue, and of course the very simple conical stud pattern here at the base of the sole plate. So you're probably asking yourself, why would I buy a Mizuno Morelia Pro over something like the Adidas Copa Mundial? And the reason for that is one, just to be a little bit different, two, to have something that is different from black and white, and three, it actually has quite a different fit from the Adidas Copa Mundial. Um, something like the Copa can really have a very wide fit about it, whereas something like the Morelia Pro, to me, has a much more streamlined, less bulky feel overall. So if you are wearing the Copa Mundial or you want something a little bit more traditionally styled, but don't necessarily want all of that extra bulk and just want all that high quality material, then definitely something like the Mizuno Morelia Pro is something to take a look at. If you guys do want more information on the overall performance, there is a full written review on my website, which I'll also leave linked down below in the description. So go ahead and check that out. Now, as far as um, this particular version of the Mizuno Morelia, I always get lots of questions about the Japanese made versions and just the standard versions of the Mizunos. Now, this is the standard version of the Mizuno Morelia Pro. It is made in Indonesia, but Mizuno also makes a Japanese made version of pretty much every single shoe that they make, but they come at a much higher cost and are even more difficult to come by. Something like this, I believe retails somewhere around the $150 mark, whereas a Japanese made Morelia, while it is a little bit different and the quality definitely is better, retails somewhere around the $400 mark, so they are a lot more expensive. In fact, some of the most expensive soccer shoes that you can actually buy. Um, so is that worth it for you to spend that much more money on a pair of Japanese made ones versus the Indonesian made ones? That's really up to you, but what I can tell you is that the standard versions of the Mizuno are still very, very high quality. So the upper on this shoe, as you can see, is pretty much full kangaroo leather. There are some synthetic areas on the boot itself, mainly around the ankle collar area. Again, just to provide more structural integrity and to prevent any kind of overstretching of the upper itself. The quality of the kangaroo leather is very, very nice in my opinion. Um, it's very solid. It's going to require a little bit of break in time, but once you have broken them in, they're extremely soft and just provide that nice touch on the ball. You do have your traditional flap tongue, as you guys can see with the Mizuno branding. It is pre-flapped, unlike the Copa, and it even includes a little Velcro strap, so it will stay down. And you can actually lace this up in a certain way to where the tongue is completely hidden and you don't actually have to cut it off your shoe and void your warranty. So I'll show you how that works later in the on-feet portion of the video. As far as the back part of the shoe, there is an internal plastic heel counter, which you guys can't see, but it is there. It's not too solid, but it's something that is noticeable and does provide... Uh, it does do its part, I should say, in providing a little bit of protection at the back of the heel. You do have your synthetic leather heel liner here with a fairly stiff foam, but it's enough foam there to really keep your foot locked in place and provide a nice comfortable fit, which is obviously very important. Now, as far as the insole itself goes, it is removable, unlike the Copa Mundial. You do have that slightly textured kind of mesh liner over top, your Morelia branding there in gold, and the insole itself is actually fairly minimal. It's a pink foam, very, very thin. There's not too much padding to it whatsoever, but it definitely gets the job done as far as providing that nice step in comfort. As far as the outsole itself goes, or the sole plate, I should say, 
It is made from a TPU plastic, nothing too fancy there. It's not as thick, again, as what you're gonna find from something like the Adidas Copa Mundial. So in that respect, it is a little bit more modern, but you still have that very classic, traditional conical stud pattern here at the bottom with the four studs on either side of the forefoot, one support stud in the middle, and your four studs under the heel. So it provides some pretty good traction on firm natural grass playing surface surfaces. It's not a ton of grip at push off, but you get plenty of maneuverability once your foot is planted. Again, it's a certain type of feel. If it's your, if it's your thing, then it's your thing. If it's not, then go for something else. This is definitely not a shoe that I think is going to be for everybody, but if you are looking for something with that more traditional style about it, this is definitely something to look at. So that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video. And I move on to a quick weigh-in so you can see how lightweight these guys are. One of the major factors that really scares people away from shoes like the Adidas Copa Mundial is the weight of the boot itself. Um, now the Mizuno Moralia Pro, while it isn't necessarily overly lightweight, it is a little bit lighter than something like the Copa from Adidas. So I'm going to throw this on the scale for you guys so you can see what it weighs in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair, it is size 9 US. I'm going to throw it on the scale. And you can see that they weigh in at 9.8 ounces, so they're under the 10 ounce mark. It's in a weight range that is a little bit more than something like the Nike Tiempo Legend 4. Um, so it's kind of in that weight range to where it does have that nice solid feel, but at the same time it isn't heavy on your feet. So that's pretty much it as far as the weigh-in portion of this video goes. I'm going to move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes fit and what the sizing is like. All right, here's a look at the Mizuno Morelia Pros on feet. And I have to say that this is my style of soccer shoe. I love the traditional style. I love the full kangaroo leather upper and they just feel really, really good. Now, obviously there is some form of a break-in period with any natural leather soccer shoe. Something like this might feel a little bit kind of stiff from right out of the box, but give it a couple hours of wear time, let them stretch and form to your feet. You'll find that the upper will soften up and overall they just become a lot more comfortable than they will feel from right out of the box. As far as the overall fit of the shoe itself goes, like I mentioned earlier, it has a more streamlined feel in comparison to something like the Copa Mundial, which may feel a little bit bulky to a lot of people. So if you do find that shoe to be a little bit too wide for your feet, something like the Mizuno Morelia Pro is going to fit you really, really well. With that being said, is this a shoe that will be suitable for wider footed players? I would say yes, it's gonna fit pretty much all foot types, especially because it is pretty much full kangaroo leather. So it stretches, forms to your feet, and should fit pretty much everybody. As far as sizing goes, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect, so they do fit true to size. Not uncommon for pretty much all Mizuno models. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size. As I mentioned earlier, you guys can see that you can wear this shoe in two different ways without actually having to modify anything. You can wear it the standard way with the tongue out, or you can actually fold the tongue underneath the laces because it is pre-flapped and leave it completely kind of unexposed on the shoe itself, as you guys can see, making for a slightly less bulky feel on the top of your foot. So that's pretty much it as far as the on-feet portion of this video goes, and I'll leave you to my final thoughts. All right, guys, that's it for my unboxing of the Mizuno Morelia Pro. Overall, it's just a fantastic shoe, especially if you're looking for that more traditional style. It's got that high quality kangaroo leather upper, a very comfortable fit, and of course that classic conical stud pattern. Now, if you guys are looking for more information on the overall performance of this shoe, be sure to check out the full written review on my website, link down below in the description. As well, guys, if you are interested in purchasing a pair of these for yourself, there will be buy it now links linked down below in the description as well. If you guys have any questions regarding this shoe, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.